Let's move on to main topic number two, shall we? And our second main topic today gets submitted to us by Xander Saurus, who writes, Greetings, John. So, this might hurt fans uh, who were looking forward to the Batman in production, but unfortunately, I've read the news online that the Batman himself, Robert Pattinson, has tested positive for COVID-19, and the movie production has paused. What are your thoughts about this breaking news? Thanks, and I hope for the best for Robert and that he'll be okay, even if we have to wait longer for the Batman. All right. Thanks a lot for sending that in, Xander Soros. And yeah, by now, everybody's heard the news. At first, the reports came out that somebody on the Batman crew got COVID-19 and they were going to pause things and shut things down. I think Vanity Fair, I could be wrong. Now, Deadline is now confirming it and everything, but I think Vanity Fair was the first one to confirm that it was actually Robert Pattinson uh, who tested positive uh, for, uh, for the disease, unfortunately. This is what comes to us from Vanity Fair, who writes, Robert Pattinson is said to have tested positive for the coronavirus, causing filming of the Batman to be halted just days after the superhero drama resumed work at studios outside of London. Warner Brothers could not comment on any individual worker's health, sharing only this statement. A member of the Batman production has tested positive for COVID-19 and is isolating in accordance with established protocols. Filming is temporarily paused. Vanity Fair has confirmed, though, a, through a highly placed source that Pattinson was was the individual who became sick. Now, of course, this has uh, also been confirmed. Deadline is also saying that their studio sources are telling them that it was indeed Robert Pattinson who got infected. And, you know, we just talked a few days ago about the fact that Batman has started production again. Oh, and now it's stopped again. Now, there were some conflicting reports coming out. This morning, there were reports coming out that Batman is going back into production. They're just going to shoot without Robert Pattinson for now. Now, of course, Robert Pattinson is not in every scene in the movie. There's lots of work to be done, even without, even in scenes without Robert Pattinson in the scenes. However, that has been debunked. Uh, it is being said through Variety. They looked into that. Apparently, even though Variety themselves had said it was going back into production just without Pattinson, they have since confirmed that nope, the they are pausing the production right now, while Pattinson and Everybody he came into direct conflict with on the team are all self-quarantining for 14 days. So the thing is in pause. The thing is not in production right now. That's where we're at. There are a couple of thoughts that I have. First, of course, is that best wishes to Robert Pattinson and anybody else on the production crew who might have got it from him. Here's the other thing. <clears throat> you know, we are in it. A day and age right now when if you're not an absolute blithering drooling over your own feet moron you're trying to take some reasonable precautions you know you, you don't have to put on a hazmat suit and seal up your house with duct tape but take some reasonable precautions that's all that's all we ask not just so you don't get it that's that's the part where a lot of people become blithering idiots well, I don't care if I get it. Well, it's not about you, you effing moron. It's about you become a transmitter if you get it. You know, again, don't seal yourself in a suit. Just take some reasonable precautions. That's all we're asking. That's the day and age we're in. However, we are also in a world where you can take precautions and still have bad things happen, right? Like, you, I, I can, I've, you know, the argument I've heard before, the, the, the hyperbole is, yeah, you shouldn't drive blindfolded on the highway. Yes, you can still get in an accident and people still do get in accidents when driving without a blindfold, but the chances are much smaller, <laughs> but, but, but it can still happen, right? I've seen some people online and I get it, uh, being a little upset and angry at Robert Pattinson saying, oh, he clearly wasn't taking precautions. He clearly wasn't acting safe. He clearly was acting irresponsibly, to which I would say, I haven't heard any evidence of that. Listen, you can, he, he for all we know, he had the hand sanitizer on, he put the, the mask on, he went to his local grocery store that is taking all the precautions and you still might get it. 
he has a smaller chance. But look, we just don't know the circumstances of how he got it. But I, I don't think people should be ganging on Robert Pattinson for this when, hey, he could have been taking every precaution and he could have just got unlucky. And that's the case. Now, here's the thing, Rob. I've heard also other people saying, oh, well, Robert Pattinson got COVID. That means the safety precautions on movie sets aren't working. Folks, Robert Pattinson getting COVID and them catching it and instantly isolating him and isolating anybody he's come into contact with is proof that their system is working. I remember when the UFC, Rob, had its first big event uh, post-COVID, and everybody's wondering if all these safety precautions and and a, a big famous MMA fighter, Jacare, he tested positive for COVID. And some people said, oh, that means it's not working. No, it was proof that it worked. One guy had it. They caught it. They isolated him. They removed him from where everybody else was, and then nobody else tested positive, and they've had about 20 other events since. It showed that the system works. If they didn't catch Robert and he did then spread it to 30 other people, that would be a sign that the system isn't working. But I think this is actually a sign that it's working. It The system, the precautions, the protocols, Rob, did what they were supposed to do. Mm. If it happens, it gets identified, and then they take immediate action. And that's what it's supposed to do. So while my thoughts are to Robert Pattinson right now, I hope he recovers really well. Uh, we don't know what the circumstances were regarding how he got it. So I give him the benefit of the doubt. I'm just going to go with the assumption he probably just got unlucky. Fine. And then that the safety protocols in place on the Batman set did their job by identifying what happened, isolating him, pausing production until they can get all a clean bill of slate of health again, and then move forward again. So... It sucks that Robert caught it, but I'm also a little bit encouraged to see that the system is working. Rob, you heard about this. At, at first, the report was just that they were that somebody got it and they were shutting down production. Yeah. We then found out it was Robert. What's your take on, on this whole thing? Well, one, it shows that uh, we're in the middle of a global pandemic still. And it's not a second wave. It's a first wave that has continued on. And uh, it's something that we have to take uh very seriously and this was something that happened overseas you know it, it it it's still a global pandemic and we still have to be very mindful of it but like you said when people take precautions and we have these 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 ways of doing things in place to make sure that we're ever diligent the system is working now i do feel bad that they've had to shut down production and you know, when you think someone had it, you've got makeup people, hair people, everybody's close in, touching people's faces and things like that. They ha they have to shut down. They can't be like, well, we'll just continue on and shoot second unit. I mean, maybe they can, but it's uh, it's it's problematic. And I feel bad for everybody, you know, the crew. They've been off for five and a half months. You think, hey, we're going back to work. We're three days into it. They've only shot 25% of that film, as was reported. And I, it's a bummer. Certainly. I mean, I don't know. I'd be very curious to see how the insurance payments work from a production uh, standpoint. Like, does the insurance kick in then? Do they have to shut down for two weeks? I mean, this kind of thing can get very costly very quickly. But as you said, the system did work. And I wish uh, Robert Pattinson a speedy recovery. Hopefully he he, he doesn't come down with, with many symptoms and um, he'll be able to get back to work and so will the rest of the crew quickly. But this is our future, and it does show that we don't have to fear our future, that it's going – it will work. We just have to be ever ever mindful and diligent for the time being until, well, who knows how long. But I, I actually found this to be reassuring in the sense that they're doing – the people that are – that these new production protocols that have been put in place, and they're pretty strict. Hmm. They work. Yeah, I agree. I agree. So while some people are are uh, decrying this as being a sign that this can't work, to me, I actually look and say, 
no, this th- this is the system doing what it was designed to do. And and right. I actually, I take a little bit of confidence in that, that the true can be same for other productions. Question is for you guys. What do you think about this whole thing? Do you think that Robert Pattinson coming down with this is just a sign that this Batman production is doomed? Do you see this as being a real cautionary tale that people shouldn't be back in production? Do you take a more optimistic look like I do? It's like, hey, this is a sign that the system is working. What do you guys think about it? Jump down to the comment section below and let me know your thoughts. All right, guys.